the the clincher on this seems to me to be the fact that early church fathers argued that uh, why are there these uh, these dying and rising gods like Jesus? Well, Satan must have counterfeited the resurrection of Jesus in advance because he knew it would happen uh, because he already held a Christian interpretation of Old Testament prophecy. My, so, what I want to point that. out is no one in their right mind would make a claim that Satan uh, counterfeited them in advance if he didn't have to explain away an acknowledged fact that these were Christ, earlier what, than Christianity. What church father did that? What church father... Uh, Tertullian, Justin Martyr. So, so first off, Tertullian is not a church father, as you know very well. Uh, but I don't, I don't agree with you on Tertullian. Well, he's got to have a halo. Hold on, he's got to have a halo. He's got to, he's got to have been, have been uh, uh, referred to as a saint in the church. He never was. Oh, come on, well, let's talk. Let's oh, talk about God. Justin. Martyr. Bob, you, you got to be fair to the Christian faith. You got to be fair. Well, uh, that faith is just what I'm saying. You're obviously okay. a spin doctor. Well, I, and I love it when you call me that, Bob. We, we remain friends, even though you think I'm a spin doctor. Very let's true, talk about Justin Martyr. Well, but let's talk about Justin Martyr, Bob, because you're you're wrong. Even even though Tertullian's a heretic, you're wrong on him. But let's talk about Justin Martyr. Justin Martyr does not claim that those tales came earlier, Bob. That's your big problem. You're going to have to show. In that okay, then show me proof because I've got it in front of me. He's claiming. For, well, let me let me clarify for the audience. Number one, uh, what he does find parallels with Bob are other aspects of these pagan deities. But he never once says that they predate the Christians. He says they ripped them off. And then secondly, Bob, he's very clear. He says that none of them had an ending like Christ. He says Christ was unique. So in order to prove your case for the resurrection, not any of these other issues of pagan deities. You've got to show, you said early church fathers show it, but Justin Martyr's not a friend of yours. If you read the text, number I one, you're mistaken. Well, then prove that I'm mistaken. I've got I the don't text, have in the front text of me. on hand, but it'd be easy to find. Okay. So, what he says here, I'm going to read it. He says, What has been taught about Christ is older than all those writers, he says. He's very clear. And then he says, and I'm going to pull it up here, he also says that the manner of suffering and death are different. That's in his uh, Apologia 22, Bob. So even though he's noting there's some parallels, I think this is a big problem that, uh, and with all due respect, and we've dialogued about this before, we disagree, but I don't think atheists or agnostics or others that are examining Justin Martyr are noting that Justin Martyr is clearly not saying that these predate the Christians, he's saying that they ripped them off from the Christian. And that's the case that I am making, since there's no evidence of any of, the, of this before the Christian era, I think Justin Martyr's case is very clear. Oh, you, you're, oh, forget it. Uh, I mean, it's, well, let me ask you this, Bob. Let, let's, be, let's be fair. Would you agree that that's perhaps a valid reading, perhaps, of Justin Martyr? Or you think it's not possible to read Justin Martyr? I've forgotten what he said. I think it is not. Okay. Well, Justin Martyr, will you at least ad admit, because you've told me many times, Bob, you've said, look, if you've even said this to me personally. If Christ rose from the dead, you know, it doesn't crush my belief system. You've told me. Well, let me ask you this, Bob. Um, Justin Martyr. Well, I'm sorry, is, what, what was that? What did I you, say? You've told me that it, you, 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 deny the, yeah, you deny the gospel accounts, but you've told me if Christ rose from the dead, it wouldn't destroy any sort of your belief system. You still hold to the same thing, right? I, I hope I didn't say that. I um, must have been hallucinating. Uh, I have no belief system, for one thing, but uh, I, I have said I if it quoted. turned out Christ rose from the dead, great. Uh, I'm not, I don't think it's a bad idea. I just think it's insupportable. Okay, so going back to Justin Martyr, uh, Bob, and I hope you don't mind I call you Bob, as people, if people may not know, no, no, please. Uh, I have great respect for Dr. Price. We're friends. We talk often. Yes. We keep in touch. We are good friends. I don't want people to think that we're not. Um, right. Uh, let, let, me, uh, let me push back a little bit. And let me say, is it not possible that Justin Martyr, and I would argue even for Tertullian, were arguing that these were ripoffs of the Christian story rather than 
to me, I find it nonsensical that Justin would be arguing, well, the devil um, foreknew this and the devil imitated this beforehand, because I don't find Justin ever claiming that these pagan accounts predate the Christian narrative. In fact, he's very clear to emphasize, and I know we can talk about virgin birth and all these other details, but today we're particularly talking about the resurrection. He notes that the end of Christ, Christ's death and resurrection are unique. He doesn't say those are the same as those other pagan deities. Do you at least agree that that's a possible reading of Justin, or you just completely disagree with him? Uh, it, it doesn't square with my memory, though, of course, I'm an old uh, relic, so maybe my memory is no good. But the the idea that uh, if he if the other ones who died, the other saviors weren't crucified, that breaks the whole thing. That that's a distinction without a difference. I mean, no, it, no, it, no, it, no, I, I agree, though, though. Hold on. I think you're misunderstanding me. I agree that I agree. later on, later on in history, Bob, you do have uh, even tales of crucified pagan saviors. The argument that Justin Martyr is making is that they are later. They don't predate Christ is the argument he's making. That The point that I'm trying to make to you is that people have been misreading him for their own agenda. He's not claiming they predate Christ. He's saying these were ripped off. He's calling them imitations. I'm just yes, asking you. He says before the fact that the, the devil knew of Old Testament prophecy. He knew what would happen, so he planted these things in advance. C.S. Lewis tried well, to, to put a better face on that by saying that God planted them in advance inexplicably so they'd be like typologies, as if anybody well, he, could have understood that. But even he understood the church fathers, the, the few but that he mentioned claimed, it. He claimed that he was going to ape a prophecy and what have you but he never claims that the the bodily resurrection or the crucifixion happened in any of these pagan saviors prior to christ it's the point i'm trying to make is that he's very clear that they that they were imitations but you know what we can get to that we can get to that later because you don't quite rec recount that but i will read that in my closing statement i'll make sure to read that i want to have enough time to go over other questions